What's up you guys? Chet Guthrie the Dream Poet here. Coming to you all in the middle of nowhere here in Scott County, Tennessee. And today guys, we are here to see an actual train wreck. This train wreck occurred back in 2009 and there was some debate over it because they did dump, I forgot how many uh, thousands of uh, pounds of coal into the near river, which is that river right there. But anyway, guys, we're going to get down there and we're going to check it out. Now, I heard about the location of this wreck, again, from the same acquaintance of mine who showed me where the abandoned uh, cabooses are. So, anyway, I really wanted to see this one just because it has been in the news. It's just utterly crazy to think that something like this is out here looks like we're looks like we're coming up to the river now that we have made it down to the new river i thought we would stop and just check out the beauty of this it's peaceful it's serene train wreck up on the hill there that we're going to try to get out there too utterly i, I just think it's this kind of stuff and this kind of weather that just makes everything beautiful this time of year and it's nothing train related but check that out that my friends my fans my followers is a fossil neat i was not expecting to find something like that and i am really not looking forward to getting my feet wet but this is probably the best that i can do so let's get to it Maybe it won't be so bad. Then again, it's raining already. So I should have probably already expected that. I wonder if the water's kind of cold, actually. No, it's, it's actually surprisingly not all that bad. Again, looks like I'm getting down in the water, but uh, it's worth it, especially seeing a train wreck in a remote part of Tennessee, totally worth it. Totally worth it. I'm already about halfway there. I hate that I had to do that, but I guess I had to. Just hate that I got my shoes wet because these are my favorite boots. I just want to point this out, but all of this looks like it was a road at one point or maybe it was just overflow from the creek or at least i don't know i'm kind of leaning between those two things but uh we're coming across it we're maybe no more than maybe about 200 yards away you can see the first one on top of the hill right there i'm kind of guessing the reason why they uh never bothered to clean these up is because uh, I believe if I'm not mistaken, this railroad system was bought and owned privately. I believe it's the same uh, railroad system that uh, was a part of where the abandoned locomotive of uh, Petros is. So that's probably why it's still here. But uh, now that we have made it, let's, let's go check it out. Let's come and see what we came here to see anchor down and this looks like a straight up four-wheel track so if i had had a four-wheeler maybe i could have come out here and done it the easy way instead of uh instead of crossing the river like i had to dude we're not even up there yet and look at the size of that coal car and hopefully i can make it without tripping and falling but looks like that's an impossibility but i've also done things that people say how did you do that eh, it's, it's whatever that was not fun to get up here but we have finally made it and this is crazy dude just check this out this really did topple back in 2009 and 
the interesting thing is we're 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 not even like we're not even halfway into it yet oh god this really did take a big fall a lot of a lot of money worth the scrap metal though that's for sure <sighs> Well, there's the first car anyway. <sighs> I forgot how these derailed. All that I know is they are out here. You can kind of see where uh, they've, they bet just, they've just been sitting for a really, really long time. Oh, this is neat. You can actually get in one. <laughs> that is really, really interesting. I don't know, for a second there, I thought that was kind of a, uh, a diesel engine. It even has kind of an echo into it. Like, especially, I'm just simply walking in here. I mean, this is nuts. This is absolutely crazy to think that this is out here. And it looks like they've got some coal still left in here. Again, these are old coal cars. So that's something that you would expect anyway. And I don't know what, I know this was another coal car. Again, it's, it's in about the same shape as this one that's just laying on its side. No telling like how much power it took to knock this on its side. I guess it was that one that kind of knocked it out of place. At least that's what I'm guessing. <laughs> Dude, this. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Let's see what else is left here. We might find something really, really cool. But then again, I mean, all of this is cool in its own right. Again, I'm gonna thank my friendly acquaintance who showed me where all this is at, because this would have completely have been off my radar if he had not shared those coordinates with me. Yeah, and that's, it's just baffling that these are all out here and just rusting, rusting away. <sighs> oh, dude. So literally, oh, dude, check out the trains, train track. So it looks like there might be only about six or seven trains out here, uh, coal cars out here. That's what I'm thinking. I don't think there's that many out here. So, as a kid, I always wanted to know if there was an actual train wreck. And now I know there is an actual train track or train wreck that is still modern day. <sighs> Dude, just look how bashed up that wheel is. I'm not sure if this one still has its wheels. Looks like part of the, the inside's been torn out. Oh, good Lord Almighty. Oh my God. That is a lot of damage. Now, I have to know I'll have to read up more on this because this, oh my, oh my goodness, this, this is nuts. Adox lube, Adox lube, no, BLT, RBLT. So yeah, <laughs> this is crazy. Huh, looks like we can go into this one. Looks like somebody cut a hole in it. I'm guessing. It's probably from when they had to dump all this coal out. This is a really, really big room. 
Ugh. This is really big. I'm awestruck right now. Quite literally, I am awestruck. I never thought that anything like this could exist. I feel like I've said it a lot. Um, but anyway, you guys, we're going to get out of here, and we are going to go down the road just a little bit away as it's the same railroad system. And there is an abandoned train bridge like an old school train bridge and it's something that i just feel like i have to add to this vlog this is unreal very unreal you know way back when this was probably the only real transportation that they had for miles. It was this train that ran through the mountains before they had ever established a road. And I'm just going to say, that bridge is huge. This is why I think this rail system is abandoned. Because CSX, LNN, one of the major railroad companies, they would not let the tracks get this overgrown, by no means. So, we're gonna walk along this bridge and we're gonna check it out. I kinda wonder what that double line was used for. You know, it honestly makes me kinda think about uh, that movie, um, Stand By Me. You know, it was originally a Stephen King book. You know, and the boys, you know, they uh, they were try going to find a dead body. You know, in the end, they did find that uh, that particular body. But it is one of my all-time favorites. I'm really, really glad that uh, my friendly acquaintance showed this to me. And there, there's a house over there, and beneath these tracks is somebody's farm so i think that is really really cool um <laughs> this has been a good vlog i'm gonna i'm gonna have a fun one with it well i've already had a fun one with this one just kind of walking the the tracks to nowhere that's what i'll call it the train to nowhere although that, that's uh, that's out at the uh, the new river, or at least that's what I call it. And I definitely know that no train is getting through that. Alrighty, you guys. I think I'm done exploring for today. This was fun. I needed to get out and do this. This is really cool. That train wreck, that was mind-boggling to see something like that out here in modern times. But anyway, you guys, remember, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Always means a lot. Goes to show that y'all care and that y'all want to see more awesome videos. So without further ado, you guys, vlog over. <laughs>